with you and Nagowski? I mean, I have no idea, man. Um, inning ended, patted my glove, an emotion, just was battling all night, had no feel, rain delay. Just happy to kind of go five and keep it in, in kind of arm's reach for my team. Put my head down, literally looking at our dugout. You can look at the video. And he starts running his mouth saying that I'm talking shit. So I'm never one to let any man talk down on me, especially when it's not warranted at all. Um, he's just a clown, man. You know what I mean? Drew Smith told me he was a clown. He's a clown. So he knew that he knows I wasn't talking any shit to him. If you go look at the video, I put my head down and look right at our dugout, literally put my head down and started walking to the dugout. And he proceeded to run his mouth. Derek Shelton knows me over there, Sheltie. Um, I'm sure all his teammates do too, man. That was, that was completely out of character and unwarranted for him. Um, and like I said, I, I'll never let anyone talk down on me. No, man, I, I don't, I'm not scared of anybody. Do you feel like sometimes guys just misinterpret what the meaning behind your, your celebrations is sometimes? Do you feel like some guys take things personally that you in no way intend to be directed towards them? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's obvious. Um, I mean, hitters get on first base and do the Macarena when they get a broken bat single at times. I don't say anything. You know what I mean? Um, it's ridiculous. You see plenty of guys showing emotion these days, especially pitchers. And to be honest with you, I've, I purposely have told myself to show less emotion. And I've been extremely reserved out there and quiet. If I have any emotion, it's towards our dugouts, never at the other teams, never at any other players. And they know that. So for him to come out, to come and be like that in that situation, I think it's completely uncalled for. And he, if he has a problem with it, like I said, I'm, I'm right there. I'm 60 feet, six inches away. I fear nobody. You can come out there whenever you want. Next question comes from Mike Puma. Hey, Marcus, it looks like uh, at the end of the incident there, you were hunched over a little bit. Uh, did you get injured in there or anything like that? My toe, I just got stepped on just my foot. Just my foot was kind of barking. I thought I was like kind of bleeding in my cleats. So I kind of ran off to kind of check on it, but it's all good. And what, what did you think of your performance tonight? I just thought I battled. Uh, definitely wasn't sharp. Um, but yeah, after letting those two runs up, my priority was to go five, six innings and keep my team in the game. And I thought I did an okay job. My pitch count got high. Definitely wasn't sharp. But like I said, um, just something to build off of. Uh, mechanically, I felt I felt better in certain innings. So not my best, but but something just to build off and, and get going in the second half. Thank you. Tim Healy, your line's open. In in the top of the sixth there, it looked like you and Nagowski were still talking to each other. There was some smiling going on, but I couldn't tell if it was angry or if there was some levity going on. I was just asking why he was running away after talking all that shit. I, I was right there. He started to kind of backpedal. His face got all red, and he started to get off the field. So I was just wondering why he was wandering away. That was it. Got it. Thank you. Next up is Justin Descano. Hey, Marcus, in that same inning, uh, I think the broadcast caught you picking up like a tablet and there was some video on it. Was that video of, of you getting him out there? A tablet? Say that again. I missed that. Yeah, yeah. There was like a, it showed the broadcast showed you like grabbing a tablet and it looked like you were showing him something. And I was just wondering what no, um, I wasn't. I never was. I never I never showed anybody the tablet at all. I was literally just going over my pitches from the previous inning. Um, yeah, just looking at my mechanics. I, I've been working a lot on this mechanical adjustment, so I was literally just checking my mechanics in the dugout. Okay, and when that rain delay occurs, how do you s attempt to stay warm or keep your mind clear, whatever you do need to do during that? Yeah, I have a few exercises, stretching, breathing, um, that I kind of go to to keep me in the right spot. And obviously just staying warm, keeping the body loose and, and keeping the arm moving is a big key. Thank you, Marcus. Yes, sir. Final question from Daniel Guerrero. Uh, hi, Marcus. Going back to the incident, have you ever had like any other interactions with Nagowski or is it just something that was just kind of surprising to you? No, never, never had an incident. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's, this is his what, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth game or something like that. There would have been no other scenario that I would have had an incident with him. Thank you, Marcus.